Proverbs says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Speak life over your dream. When you feel doubt creeping up, put something positive on to build your faith to stay focused. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I'm so excited about this week's video because it's just one of my favorite topics, how to manifest your dreams. But I wanna focus specifically on your dream home. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen a photo I posted a few months ago of my husband Rodney picking me up in front of our dream house. Well, I thought it would be encouraging to share my personal experience of recently manifesting my ultimate dream home and show you some photos and videos of our new beautiful house. But first, ladies, I wanna invite you to the sweetest event in Dallas, Texas. It's my annual Icing Women's event happening September 1st and 2nd. Come alone or grab a girlfriend and invest some time in yourself, your dreams, your successful mindset. I'm telling you, you will never regret investing in yourself. So just click the link in the description to get your ticket. Join me in person or live stream. I can't wait to see you. Okay, so this video is not to show off or brag because I know that I would have nothing if it weren't for God and His principles of successful living found in the Word of God. So this video is to inspire you to never shrink your dream but enlarge your faith for what God has put in your heart. See, God wants to see your faith in action, believing for impossible things. And we are so grateful. I think I say thank you, Jesus, about 27 times a day when I walk through the new house. So I wanna show you how God brought it to pass because God's word works and it will work for anyone who applies it. And I believe you are next. So if you're believing God for your dream home, you'll wanna watch this. Okay, before I get into this, would you mind helping me out really quick? Would you take a second and let my team and me know if you want us to continue producing these little videos by just subscribing to our channel? That is the greatest encouragement for us to keep doing these and I just want you to know we never take your support lightly. So if you would just push the subscribe button real quick, I want you to know you are so appreciated. Okay, so I'm gonna take you into my personal story about how God blessed us with our dream home. So my husband Roddy and I have been living in a temporary house for three years. We sold our house three years ago, moved to a rental house waiting to just build our dream home. We bought land on the lake and the plan was to build the dream house in 2020. Well, then the pandemic hit and everything went up. The cost to build was crazy, as you know. I never wanted to build. I wanted to find a dream home, already finished, and just move in. So we decided we didn't want to build anymore. We're just going to believe God for our dream house already built. So first, I imagined what my ideal dream house would look like. Now this is where it starts, because your imagination is a gift from God. Colin Wilson said it like this, Imagination should be used not to escape reality, but to create reality. Well, I wanted it to be French. I definitely wanted it to be on the lake. I've always dreamed of living on the lake. I wanted two-story, a swimming pool, a game room, media room for Rodney. So I just let my imagination run wild. I listed all the things I desire in my dream house, and then I wrote it all out. I put it on my vision board, and I put it all in a dream book. Habakkuk 2.2 says to write the vision and make it plain. So I wrote everything out, very specific. Then I started researching photos on Pinterest of chateau styled homes. I researched what I wanted the master bedroom furniture to look like, what style of furniture, what colors I wanted. I wanted, you know, this gorgeous like ice blue. In fact, I have paint samples here, ice blue colored walls and comforter. So I printed photos of it and I put it all in my little dream book. You can see this is it right here. I listed everything that I was believing God for, all the different furniture pieces. I went on Pinterest, I went on Facebook Marketplace and other websites just searching for French furniture. You can see this, look how beautiful. Finally, I found what I loved. I printed out the photos with the price attached to it. Do you see how detailed I'm being? Then I started researching ideas for my guest bedrooms. I wanted lots of color. I mean, bold colors like purple and green and pink. And I wanted each room to be a different color. So I was just having fun with this. In fact, I came across, I'll show you the photo, but I came across a purple armoire. 
It's bold, but I loved it. So I printed a photo of that wild purple armoire. Then I saw this photo on Pinterest of a purple room with toile wallpaper, very, very French. So I printed that out. I just had fun exploring and discovering what my ideal dream house would look like. Now this is something you need to do. Don't get bogged down with how could this ever happen? Just dream. Well, then I started declaring it with my mouth. Lord, I thank you for my beautiful chateau on the lake in Rockwall, Texas. And I just kept checking the listings nearly every week and nothing looked like my dream house. Keep in mind, three years have gone by living in a rental house, believing for our dream home. And then one year ago, we got a call from a realtor saying that a gentleman noticed we had land for sale. Remember, we were gonna build on the land till the pandemic. And the realtor said, a man is interested, are you ready for this? In trading his house for your land. I was like, what, what does his house look like? She said, it's a French chateau style house on the lake. I'm not kidding. I was freaking out before I'd even seen the house. I was upstairs when Roddy was on the phone with her and he said, Terry, I went flying down the stairs. I was squealing, thank you, Jesus. I hadn't even seen the house. So we instantly planned a tour of the house and right when we pulled up, I said, God, I'm asking you to give me a sign, like some sort of sign that this is our house. I wasn't trying to be goofy or super spiritual, but after three years of waiting, I wanted to know what to do. Well, as soon as we got out of the car, there was this beautiful French fountain in the driveway and a sign that said Maison sur le lac, house on the lake in French. I speak French. I've been declaring I have a house on the lake. So I took a photo of that and I was like, oh my gosh, was that my sign? Well, we toured this house and all I can say is that it is breathtaking in every way. It not only had everything I listed in my dream book, but more, like much more. I can't even describe how stunning it is. I was videoing and taking photos, you know, and sort of freaking out inside, but the owner was there, so I was trying to just play it cool. He wants to possibly trade his house for our land. I even told my dad, I said, this will be the biggest favor of God's story I have ever had in my life. And I was just praising God. Well, it didn't happen. He changed his mind. Last March or April, it completely fell through. Now in the natural, we could not afford his house without selling our land. It was way too expensive, out of our price range. I was so let down, disappointed, but not without faith. I knew in my heart that that was our house and God's timing is right. That was in March of last year. Well, on July 1st, I got fed up. I put the house, let me remove these messages. I put the house as the screensaver on my phone. You can see it right there. So I could see it dozens and dozens of times. Every time I check the, you know, the time on my phone, I see my dream. Every time, and I would speak to it, thank you Jesus for my dream house. Then I told Rodney, I said, we need to kick it up. We need to sow a significant seed for this dream. Something that stretches us, something that shows God we're serious. We need to sow where we wanna go. My parents have just ingrained in me that when you have a need, sow a seed. The greater the need, the greater the seed. See, the whole earth revolves around the principle of seed time and harvest. Well, every dream I've ever seen come to pass in my life, I've always sown a seed for it before it manifested. So we inhaled, exhaled, and we sowed in faith the biggest financial seed we have ever sown in our lives on July 1st. Well, I thought surely by August 1st, our breakthrough is happening. I mean, think about it. I'm seeing my vision. It's on my dream board. I'm speaking to the vision. I'm sowing towards the vision. Nothing happened. So then I thought, faith without works is dead. I need to take action. So I took a huge leap of faith. And are y'all ready for this? I actually ordered the furniture <laughs> that was on my vision board. New bed, new dresser, nightstands, mirror. Rodney said, where are we gonna put this? I said, I'm not sure about that part, but <laughs> surely I thought God sees my faith. He's gonna bring this to pass before I even have to store the boxes of furniture in the house. Nothing happened. My guest bedroom was full of boxes for months. You can't even walk in there. Well, I thought surely by December 31st, 
you know, the last day of the year, something's going to happen. God sees my faith. Nothing. The new year started, and I thought, January, February, nothing. And then I actually said to Rodney on February 28th, the last day of the month, I said, sometimes it feels like God isn't favoring us with this dream. And I actually started researching smaller houses not on the lake and justifying why we maybe shouldn't be dreaming this big. Me, the cheerleader of dreams. Well, then I quickly caught myself and I remembered the Lord telling me, don't shrink your dream, enlarge your faith. In fact, this year he said, go for something grand. Well, in prayer one day, I felt like the Lord asked me, he said, is your dream house grand? I was like, yeah. <laughs> He said, then take your stand and go for something grand. I love that. I said, Lord, I ask you to forgive me for being negative and doubting that you can do this. I bind every negative word I spoke in Jesus' name. I know our breakthrough is on the way. Thank you, Jesus, for our dream house in your perfect timing. So then I told Rodney, I said, let's go to Home Depot and get some boxes. I started acting like it was about to happen any day. I started packing, like literally packing closets upstairs and getting ready to move. We still hadn't even heard from the owner in almost one year. That's faith, isn't it? But do you know what? Three days after I caught those negative words and chose to speak faith and take massive action, we got a phone call from the realtor again saying, that man is ready to sell. Do you want to come see his house again before he puts it on the market? Within one week, we literally signed a contract to buy not just any house, the very house that's been on my screensaver for one year and not for the price he wanted a year ago, nearly 40% less than he was asking last year at this time. What am I saying? God is faithful and God's timing is always right to manifest your dreams. So let me wrap up these steps to manifest your dream. I turned it into an acronym so you could remember it and it stands for imagine. The I stands for imagine your ideal house. What do you want? Research, look, browse, get clear on what you really want. M, make a dream book or a vision board. In fact, your offer this week is my $8 online vision board course. Just do it. Don't say, one day I'm gonna take the time to get serious. No, do it now. Show God you're serious. In fact, just click the link in the description of this video and you can start today. The A stands for affirm what you desire. Romans says, call those things that be not as though they already are. Speak it out. Who cares what other people think? This is how God created the whole world. G stands for give something. Sow where you wanna go. Find a person, a ministry, a church to sow into. See, when you're believing for a breakthrough, be a breakthrough for someone else. The I stands for initiate action now. God's word says faith without corresponding action is dead. In other words, start saving money, start packing, start choosing furniture, start purging or decluttering rooms and getting things ready to go. The N stands for no more negativity. Proverbs says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Speak life over your dream. When you feel doubt creeping up, put something positive on to build your faith to stay focused. And my last point is expect it. Hebrews says your faith and expectation shall not be cut off. Show God that you fully expect it to happen. You're just waiting on his timing. So let me show you a few photos and videos of the new house. Oh, but real quick, I really want to help you get this ingrained in your thinking, help you get clear on your dreams by offering the online vision board teaching. Now, some of you have asked if we're going to do the $8 special again instead of $97. Well, it's again this week. This is where I can explain so much more about manifesting your dreams. You're gonna get six training videos. You'll get my ebook and my e-workbook called Dream It, Pen It, Live It, all for just $8. So just watch one at a time, and I'm telling you, you're gonna light up with vision and faith about where your life is going. And your family is gonna thank you for investing in your future, because it's gonna drastically impact their lives too. So click the link in the description and get the entire course for only $8. Okay, so let me do a little tour of some of the rooms. You know, we're still waiting on lots of furniture and drapes and rugs, but I just want to show you what's been done. And let me warn you, it has lots of color, just like I imagined. So here is the formal entrance. 
with incredible views of the lake. And that piano came with the house. <laughs> it's a player piano. Here's the spacious, gorgeous kitchen. I just wish I knew how to cook, but I can make the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on that gorgeous countertop. <laughs> the den is just pure windows of the lake. I even got that very purple toile wallpaper in my daughter's room when she comes to stay with me. And we bought the furniture from the man who lived there and he just happened to have a huge armoire that I could paint purple, just like the one on my vision board. Isn't this wild? May not be your style, but this bedroom, watch how this goes out to a balcony and then stairs down to the pool. It is just gorgeous. My master bedroom has that gorgeous furniture I bought and stored in the guest bedroom for months. We had it painted sort of like that ice blue, it's French. Now we're still waiting for chairs and rugs in there, but look how beautiful this is. It's just so peaceful. And at night when the sun sets, oh my goodness, I cannot stop thanking the Lord. This has the game room for my husband who happens to sell game room equipment. He's been collecting all these fun things for years, believing God to one day get to display it, enjoy it. In fact, he bought this pool table for $100 and had it stored at his office since 2006. It's now worth $16,000. Isn't that amazing? He loves his game room. And you can see my bedrooms, my guest bedrooms have unique, bright colored wallpapers. Of course, like I said, I'm still waiting for lots of pieces to come in, but you can see just how everything I planned on my vision board is now manifested. We have the green room with French antiques, the pink room, which is basically my high school bedroom recreated, and the aqua room, or the bird room, some people call it. The most beautiful swimming pool with picturesque views of the lake, and my dog Beauregard now expects me to go swimming with him every night he just lives for this moment of retrieving. It is truly more than I could ever ask, hope, or imagine. So I wanted you to see what God can do when we apply His principles for successful living. And I believe you are next in Jesus' name. So I hope this inspired you to use your imagination, take your stand, and go for something grand. Don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.